Back day two on the Corvette. I'm gonna try to mess with the fuse right down here for the relay. I'm gonna try jumping it with a wire and see if that will uh, give us any luck with that. It might, it might not, who knows. Just really want this damn thing to work so we can drive it. It's just so funny, I just bought the thing and it's like, it worked so well when I first bought it. It had some little, like it's 20 years, uh, 18 years old. So it's like, all right, it's got some little stuff wrong with it, right? Paint's good, everything looks good. <laughs> I drive it both times, it's money. <laughs> I turn it off at Miranda's and it won't even, it literally the starter goes for two minutes straight. So I think I just burnt the starter out. I think I fixed the key problem by putting that resistor in or that relay back in. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to jack up the car and go down there. I'm gonna jump this first and see if we can get it to uh, the starter to engage because then if that engages then we know that that is not actually the starter that's wrong, it's something else. But I don't know where the starter is at. It's one of the big ones, I know that. So I'm gonna check and then I'll head back with you. All right, so Lucas came over, helped me push the car up on the blocks. And the starter is a pain in the absolute butthole because you gotta take the headers off pretty much. So I got all the bolts loose on the header, which I'm glad we're not tight, which I don't think is good because they should have been tight, but I didn't hear a leak, so that's all right. And like I said yesterday, I got that stupid relay out, for this damn button thing, put in that relay that was in there. So maybe that relay's bad and that's why they went to that, I don't know. Hopefully that's not the reason, but the starter either way is messed up, so. I was going to jump the wires to the starter to see if it works, but at this point I already ordered the starter and uh, O'Reilly's will be here in like two hours, so it's 140 bucks, $20 core charge, so 120 bucks for it. You know, who cares, I'm going to go get it done. I'm happy the header, like I should be too happy yet because I'm not done, but I'm happy the header was loose so I can finally do this. It should be easy. Once that's out of the way, you can get right to the... Um, what you call it so I'm not too worried but it's, it's still annoying so I'm gonna finish up loosening up I kind of I might just take all these bolts out honestly I'm just worried they're not gonna be able to get the header back in there's the bolts we'll see all right I don't know which way to go about this if I should pull the headers down I just think I won't be able to get them back up that's the thing I feel like when you put headers in you put them up from up top in I just have to take the plug wires out, and then I think I can just pull them over. Hopefully. I just have to get it disconnected from down there. I'm just going to take all the header bolts off. Yeah, hit that shit. I'm filming this shit. <laughs> there it go. It worked. Now we can get to the header off. <laughs> All right, the old starter was original, but this is the brand new one, 150 bucks. Kind of sucks. I'm worried about getting it in here without messing anything up. So I'm gonna try getting that in. We got the header off, like I said. Or as you saw, let's pull it off with the mule. All right, I didn't film the first start, but obviously we gained a lot of here. We did not have to push it because the new starter is on. It was kind of a pain in the butt. Had to maneuver a lot of stuff. It was hard to get the dipstick tube back in, stuff like that. But I'll get a little warm start. I'll show that it works. The key works. And you'll be able to hear it right here. Sounds very good. works it takes a second because you turn the key and nothing happens for a second and then it works so I'm gonna go put this stuff back inside I think I said this thing has a hundred thousand miles on it that startup turn off sounds a little weird but she's all money I'm gonna go wash her tonight looks good though kind of looks like an RX-7 <laughs> but I'm liking it 
excited to do some stuff to it so I'm just happy she's back and working so part two is accomplished shorter video but she's working again so thank you guys for watching new starter works if you had this problem get a new starter this was the factory one so explains a lot you guys have a good one just washed it looks amazing